I jumped out of here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Kolek Sunida going up against Wolfric the Wanderer. So we've got a almost full stack of Shaggers here, definitely missing a Fire Wizard. Kolek's pretty well leveled up. Um, Wolfric's got a few levels as well. And he's been caught in Force March by two armies, this one here, Marauder Horseman Spam. Now when I first looked at this, I was like, oh, I don't know if I should do this one. I feel like people kind of get sick of the Shagger spam every now and again. Uh, but I was reading the message and I was like, ooh, I I'll read it out to you. I'm not going to show the message because I don't want to show his email or, or anything. So he said, um, I was tired of fighting Norska, so I force marched away. But I got caught by a wolf wreck and an army of marauder horsemen, which I can't catch with my dragon ogres. I tried rushing to kill Wolfric's army, but I always rap before I can win. I don't think even you can win this. And then PS says, I'm a veteran gamer. So, is this the battle? Is this the battle that 99% of veteran gamers can't win? Is this the one? Well, let's find out. You know what, guys? That's a really good way to get me to do a battle, which otherwise I probably wasn't going to do. Uh, dare me. Basically, have low confidence in me. How, how dare you assume that I can't beat something? No, truth be told, I mean, I'm just joking, but truth be told, a lot of these battles that get sent in and they say, I don't think you can win this, I usually agree. But in this case here, I don't know, there's something about this. I stand by my Shagger spam. I don't sp stand by uh, force marching around everywhere, because you need that speed. Um, okay, how are we going to handle this? Yeah, that, uh, the lack of speed is really going to help uh, hurt us, but I'll, I'll do what I can here. Alright, I think what we do... We're on the defense, so let's just see what they do first. Our speed is 70, yeah, but that's not reliable. Looks like they're taking a, a relatively defensive position with the rest of his armies. Now, based on his email here, he said that he went after Wolfric's army first, but I'd actually say going after the Marauder Horseman first would be better. So what I want to do here is stay mobile, keep moving, makes it harder for them to hit us, and we'll just try to encircle them as much as possible, which is very difficult to do with Marauder Horseman, but it is possible if you play your cards right. I mean, if they just come into melee with you in the first place like that... get Close it off, close it off! Close it off! That's it, good, good. Because, like, these guys don't do a lot of damage, right? But if you can wipe a unit out before it's, uh... used up any of it, well then that's, that's like, free balance of power for us. Just stay away from Wolfric's army first. We'll deal with these guys. Because eventually they're either, we're either going to get a bunch of them or they'll run out of ammo. And once they run out of ammo, they're going to melee with us. And we're anti-large. We'll slaughter them. So this is good so far. I think, I think it's a reasonable start. We haven't taken much damage. We've essentially annihilated one of their units. They've kind of got us surrounded. But if we can go within the trees, we won't fight as well. But we don't necessarily need huge amounts of melee attack. Uh, but the trees will help block their shots a bit, and it'll also reduce their melee attack. Not that that's particularly important. But yeah, try to avoid blobbing up a bit. And if we could just get some of these guys off the battlefield, that would be good. Yeah, they're not for force march. We've also got Kolek's ability here, which... Meh. They'll, they'll either dodge it or they won't. Keep mobile. Keep moving. Make it as difficult as possible for them to hit us. Because here's the thing here. If they wear us out by like just reducing... Say if they reduce all of our health by a quarter. That's going to make it much more difficult to deal with all those skin wolves when they start coming at us. Because they're going to be fresh as well. And we're going to be totally exhausted. Luckily there's... If, if our only two states of fatigue are very tired and exhausted, we don't really have much need for rest. It's not an advantage. It's just... It's just something that we just don't really need to do. So if we can exhaust them by getting them tired, that would help as well. Staying close to the edge over here while their uh, skin wolves are not coming at us might be okay. Don't stay too far away from each other, because that's where the morale is going to tank. Okay, if we, can, if we can get this... What's going on over here? <laughs> that's a big blob of them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, yep, over here. Try to get some guys around him. This is 
If we can get them in melee, that'd be awesome. See, they're, they're doing a lot of damage to the Shaggoth here. And it's... Shaggoths are not the kind of units that you should be trying to dodge with. Rather than using uh, attack moves, just use moves around them. Until it's, they get to the point where they, just, they can't really get away. Like this. And then once one of them's locked in combat, you send everybody in to just horse pile on them. Shaggoth pile, whatever. Dog pile. Just like this. There we go. Because the AI is not very good at skirmishing. We just try to kill as many of these Marauder Horsemen as possible before they've used up their ammo. Once they're low on ammo, might as well just let them use up their ammo. Because they're essentially worthless in melee. We have to stay away from this group that's coming out over here. Focus on their fast units first. Once we've got the speed advantage, then we need to take out the, uh, the skin wolves. Once we're taking them out, the rest of this should be okay. Wolfix also on a chariot, which... At least it's not a mammoth. Although Shaggoths can actually beat mammoths. So we just beat up a lot of them there. But didn't really wipe out any units. But it's okay, it's a start, it's a start. Got to start somewhere. But yeah, we have taken a little bit of damage. More than I would have liked. But less than critical. Alright. This guy here hasn't taken any damage. Yeah, because he's sitting behind here. That's fine, that's fine. Get whatever hits we can. But yeah, we'll have to start moving around somewhere else. We don't want to engage with this other force right now. Because yeah, if we're fighting them and these guys here are harassing us, we're going to take extra leadership penalties. Like Shaggers, especially this much experience, they'll fight to the death. As long as the conditions aren't like hopeless for them. They just need to not take the damage all at once and being shot while surrounded and all that kind of stuff. But apart from that, Shaggers can fight pretty much to the death. Whereas these guys here don't. So yeah. Stay near the trees. The trees are going to help us a fair bit. Just act as, act as a little bit of missile resistance. For us. So we can see that we, some of our guys have got quite a few kills. kolak has got a bit. And you know, we'll, we'll just get what we can. Get what we can. Try to surround these ones here now, I think. That one's taken quite a lot of damage. They're coming in there. It's always good to see them come in when they are uh, haven't used up all their ammo. Because if it was ideal for them, they should use up all their ammo before they even think of going into melee with this. And every one of them that we kill that's still got a javelin is less damage that we're going to take in the long run. So just get that one off the battlefield. Let's just focus on winning. So they're still coming in over here. Most of the Marauder Horsemen have been dealt with now. There's just a... I'd say about a third of them left. And they've done about, I don't know, a quarter damage to us. Just gotta stay... Just gotta... Don't get lazy, basically. This is not the time to get lazy and be like, ah, I'm just going to attack. That's a big thing about uh, the Shagger stack. It can make you very lazy because most of the time you just be like, I'm just going to just go in and bash their skulls in. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. But in this case here, no, we have to stay really loose and just keep issuing orders. Conflicting orders, whatever, just keep moving. Even if it's, like, not necessarily even good moves, just keep moving. Which is why I'm just, like, erratically just, like, click, 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 doesn't matter where, just keep moving. Anybody that's standing still is an easy target. The 
That's it, and run it off the map. Get moving. Seems like we're moving a bit slower now. They must be exhausted now. They're looking very tired. But uh, we've almost used up the last of their ammo, and you know the the damage is not ideal. But you know they got javelins. What are, what are you gonna do? All right. Good. They're starting to come into melee now that they're running pretty low on ammo. I'm glad that they're hanging back. That's really useful for us. Very dumb of them. Really what they should be tr trying to do with us is pin us down with the skin wolves and have these guys shoot at us while we really can't escape the skin wolves. Because there's quite a lot of mass to skin wolves. You, got, you kind of got to finish them off before you can move on. And if we're not getting peppered by shots when we're fighting skin wolves, we should be fine. Also, if you win this, you'll be able to confederate... Uh, not confederate, you'll be able to vassalize Wolfric, which is... I'm assuming that's what you want. As chaos. Alright, so they've run out of ammo. Uh, that one's... Not completely out of ammo, though. Alright, now we'll just pop down a heal. Oh, no. Wrong, wrong race. Okay. Uh, we can't exactly rest. But that is the majority of their marauder... Oh, hang on. There, there's still more to come. I don't know if there's any point in resting. Uh, you stand over here, just act as a bit of a scout for us. I want to know what they're doing. Alright, they're coming now. Alright. What we want to do is fight all their all their fast, large units. And save their infantry for last. The infantry just bog us down and we're not anti-infantry units. Stay close to the edge of the map here, because I reckon we can route them sooner than they can rout us, as long as we stay together. Shaggers who fight together... Uh, man, I don't know. Shaggers are weird. I was gonna say, fight together, die together, but just, just do what you gotta do. Alright, here come the skin wolves. Stay together. Turtle formation. They, st uh, they still got some Marauder Horsemen. With ammo. This must be the ones that were in Wolfric's army. Until the infantry come down over here, we should be fine. Smash those skin wolves, because they're anti large Don't worry about the uh, Marauder Horsemen. Hopefully that actually hits. Because as soon as we've gotten rid of the skin wolves, we need to get out of here before those uh, Marauder Champions arrive. Just don't panic. Just don't panic, not yet. Our leadership's holding, skin wolves are falling to pieces. There's that where kit. Okay, here comes the enemy uh, infantry. We gotta move. Let's get out of here. There's still more skin wolves here. Does if we get bogged down by these marauder champions, that's gonna be really awful for us. We have to get moving. But yeah, these damn skin wolves. They're not gonna let us get away. You gotta, you gotta have to get rid of them. Come on, keep smacking, keep smacking. Some of our guys are starting to rout. That's the big problem with these skin wolves, they're pinning us down. Alright, do not fight the Marauder Champions, save them for last. Here comes Wolfric. Let's get out of here. There's still more skin wolves in here, but some of you guys have got to get these damn Marauders out of here. I hope he comes back. Because if you die, if we lose, you're all dead anyway. I just can't get out of here because of those skin wolves. Their, their mass just doesn't let us escape. We've 
Looks like Wolfric didn't have a very favorable engagement there. Come on, come on, come on, get up. Best way I do that is with other attack moves. Come on, move, 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 move. move. There's, there's not that many skin wolves pinning us down now, come on. Just using these guys as a way to pull my guys out of this this engagement here, which is not favorable. Hopefully they come back. Like I said, Shagas can fight to the death, but sometimes you got to remind them that they kind of need to. Ooh, he came back. The other one didn't. Okay, this this one's dead anyway. Just come on, get out of there. Come on, you got to move. All right, you're gonna have to remain behind. Same with you. Same with you. <laughs> we have to sacrifice some of them. Not ideal, but we need to get these other group out of here. Try and get this one out. So yeah, Shagas are dying. We need to pull away from the uh, the infantry and deal with these these skin wolves. Okay, maybe come back over here, deal with the skin wolves. Just, yeah, don't want to get bogged down by infantry. Yeah. There's not that many of them left. Plus, you really want to make use of the charge bonus of the Shagas as much as possible. That's good if they're doing that. That's not ideal, but I can't do anything about it right now. Okay, we do not want to be fighting the Marauder Champions. We're not anti-infantry. We can beat them, but just not while we're fighting everything else. Keep moving. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Come on, slow pokes. You can do it. You can do it. Smash wolf for a couple little bit more. Keep moving. Now, we've taken a beating, but there's really not that much left of them either. Where's Wolfric? You know, he's, he's damaged, but not, not out of the fight yet. Keep moving. Oh, this one here is so annoying. Part of the problem is that he's faster than us. Get moving again. We do not want to fight the Marauder Champions. Oh, that damn fucking werewolf skin kid. Uh, what is it called? Werekin. It's skin wolf werekin. They just give him the old fuck off. Come on. Uh, not enough, not enough. I gotta pull out again. Like I said, do not get bogged down fighting those champions. You have to do hit and runs with them. And the problem here is that because they've got fast units, they make that virtually impossible for us, for us to do hit and runs. This is why we gotta get rid of them first. Can't get rid of the infantry first. Yeah, get rid of this skin wolf here. It's like a controlled withdrawal, in a way. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. Killing uh, Wolfric is not going to win us the battle either. Stay together, guys. Stay together. If you run off, you're a, you're a piece of shit. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh, this damn werekin over here. Problem is that it can attack us while we're moving. Alright, okay. The infantry is chasing after this dude here. That's fine. 
I've got no problem with fighting him. We just got to get him away from the champions. The champions are just there to act as a tar pit. Alright, gotta turn around again. How much is this guy healing? Come on, he's on the ground. Get moving again. Get moving. Well, he's on the ground. Quick, 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 quick. Don't leave Kolek behind. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Get moving again. Just gotta get some distance from these champions. Uh, I think that uh, Wolfric will easily beat this guy, but if we can just get one hit on him, that'd be good. Nice hit. I, mean, I expected that, but at least he got a hit in. One last shot before you die. Alright, I think we've lost like four or five Shaggers at this point. I know one of them, at least one of them, actually got away. It sucks that this guy's gonna keep regening, but I can't justify doing hit and runs in that yet. We've gotta get rid of all of their leadership units. Everything that's fast needs to go first. Alright, now where did Wolfric go? Let's go around this and try to find Wolfric. Alright, all the Marauder Horsemen seem to be gone now. Which is good. That's it, you move up ahead here. Where did Wolfric go? Yeah, I screwed up there. Just leave him behind. Let's go take out Wolfric. Alright, uh, it's not good enough for Wolfric to just leave the battlefield. We have to kill him, so let him get away. Let him rally. Like, I expect that guy to die. But you'll have time to recruit new ones. The most important thing here is that not to lose the horde. Alright, just... Maybe he won't die. I, th I was... Okay. I'm, s I'm sure Wolfric will come back. He's got very high leadership. Yeah, he's coming back. All right, cool. Here we go. Big hit here, and let's let's get rid of him. It's good that they've uh, moved one unit over here. Here we go. No, you fucking coward. Really good that one Marauder champion's chasing after this unit. Really, really good. Is he shattered? No. He's coming back again. Yeah, okay, now he's actually shattered. So he is being a bit of a coward. So this unit over here being isolated, if we start moving around over there, we can go bash that pretty easily. But yeah, I, what I really want to kill is that Werekin. I don't know where he's gone, though. Oh, is that, that's him there. Okay. So let's get over here and smash that one Marauder champion that's isolated. Yeah, we're just at that stage of the battle where we just need to... Now we've got the speed advantage, more or less. We need to be focusing on our charge bonus. Alright, their forces aren't that far behind us, so we kind of need to beat them quickly. Go do what you gotta do. Some shaggers just have to die.
Okay, make sure these guys here leave the battlefield. We don't want them coming back. Gotta move out again. Alright, let's separate our forces. Just one at a time. Let's see what they'll send off to go chase after that. So the morale penalty from Wolfric leaving the battlefield probably would have uh, expired by now. So that one looks like it's going to be next. And if we just pound down on a couple more of them, they should get the army loss penalty. I feel at this point here, if we wanted to, we could charge in and it's maybe 50-50 we'd win. But I'm not looking for 50-50, I'm looking for a 100% chance of victory. So we'll look for favorable engagements, not trade-offs. Like this, this is a favorable engagement. Like a Marauder Champion on Legendary Difficulty might just be able to take on a Shagath. But it's not going to be a take on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nope. Too many of them will be in stun lock. That was a favorable engagement. Took them out without taking too much damage. That's what we need to be doing. Now, that other one probably came back, but it's pretty badly damaged at this point. So, don't worry about too much. Alright. More of the same. Uh, let's see. This one here. Go up this way. And see who chase after you. Oh, uh, that's not good. No, okay. Uh, Oh, no, no, no. If if that one goes out that way, maybe we could... Where's the wizard? Oh, let me have a look at the stats. So, 70, 85 me melee attack versus 50... Uh, yeah, our stats are way better than it. Where'd that wizard go? It just run that one away for the time being. Don't worry about this one. Let's take uh, take that out there. There's the wizard. I should have kept running, but... Well, we'll just see how it goes there. Right, don't get uh, don't get bogged down. Let's keep moving again. Don't you dare run away! Come on, you damn tar pit! Just gotta rely on hit and runs. That charge bonus is really good. You gotta make use of it. Be a coward. How's that guy doing over here? Probably not. Oh, it says he's doing okay. I still don't think he's gonna win. God, imagine having gone all this way and then just getting the army loss penalty right now on us. Hope it doesn't happen. Let's 
So yeah, I, I didn't expect that guy there to win, but at least he's keeping him distracted. Come on. Taking damage there, pull out a little bit. Maybe I should go after the wizard. So he was over here somewhere. Because just easy balance of power. Not going to put up a fight. But I don't know where he's going now. There he is. So at this point here, all I gotta do is just try to get... Alright, so he's shattered. Still no army losses yet. Alright, go after the Skinwolf. If all of these guys here go after the Skinwolf, we should be okay. Where'd my Shag- there's my Shagath. God, he got his full healing. Don't just look at him. Oh, the, the, the camera shaky made it hard to hit. This one here is really bad. Let's, let's actually try to get him out. They're just bloody looking at him. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta kill him. You gotta kill him. Keep this one alive. Come on, just a little bit more, a little bit more. Big hits, big hits. Victory is in our grasp. Army loss penalty should be coming at any moment. Here we go. I really want to kill this guy just for being such a pain. There it is. There's the army losses. Oh, that was that was a tough one for sure. That was very tough. Yeah, that is not something you want to be dealing with as a Shagath army. Definitely going to be a Pyrrhic victory, I think. Yeah. Alright, well, there we go. So, doesn't even think I can win this battle, huh? Don't even know how to Shagath. <laughs> no, it's all good. That was a tough battle, for sure. We, we got through it by the skin of our teeth. I didn't kill the, the heroes, but it's not really going to matter once we've made them a vassal anyway. So, we've lost seven Shaggoths. Ugh, definitely not ideal. Hopefully we don't get attacked again. So how bad would it have been if we had lost that? We'll have a look at the campaign map and see what the situation is. Like if we had lost that battle, how bad was it? Uh, where was he? So if we look at this now, the masters obviously want to see me kill you. There we go. We got you. And this will get you some more money. Just you know through vassal tribute. And give you, you know, one fewer enemies to worry about. Yes. Alright, cool. Alright, so if Kolek could just rest here for a few turns, we could... It, it'd take four turns to recover from what we lost, but you can recover. you got plenty of money there. So that's not too bad, and you can do some construction while you're at it. Uh, Cracker Drak, they seem like they're finished. But yeah, you'll be okay. How's your other, other armies coming along? So, Archeon, Shagath, Bam. Nice, that's what we want to see. Who is your starting faction leader? Archeon, okay. So you're not going to get Shagath for free to recruit. 
And is that how many armies you got? Three? Okay, turn 97. Probably not going, like, super strong, but it's okay. As long as you don't lose these hordes, you'll you'll manage, I think. Because, uh, you know, once you've got a couple of Shagas down here, smashing up cities, you'll start making tons of cash. And if you've researched... Yeah, if you research all of that, you'll get plenty of growth and replenishment rate. Okay, cool. Alright, well, that's that battle done. Definitely a doable battle, but uh, it's a tough one for sure. That one was... Uh, yeah, I was worried I wasn't going to get through it at the end there. But anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.